for the new scout. What do you want them to do? Shocked right now. <laughs> See, I, knew, I knew you were talking about earlier that you like that high horsepower yeah. range, but then you rode that goddamn FTR. This changed yeah. your life. Yeah, it did. It changed my <laughs> life. It was it was rowdy when I needed it to be rowdy. <laughs> What is going on, people? So check it out. <clears throat> Man, it's nice and sunny. It's nice and sunny, but it is all of 38 degrees right now. Uh, whatever, here I'm here in Minnesota. Uh, today is March 15th. Happy birthday to my boy, D. Yep, if you guys know, that's the guy that does my uh, intro music. He's the lead singer of Leaving Hope anyway, March 15th. This is not dropping March 15th, I would assume, but today is March 15th. Happy birthday to D. Well, today we are talking Indian Scouts. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know. Um, this is Raven. Well, it was gonna be my wife's bike, but she kind of doesn't like to ride. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get on her. You and I are gonna talk about the new Scout. Maybe this Scout. Um, I have ideas, I need ideas. I don't know if I should sell it. I don't know, I gotta make some changes. I gotta like it, right? So right now, this is not set up for me and I don't really love it, but it's 38 degrees. I'm in a t-shirt. Um, I do have like my heated gear, so <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. Uh, we're gonna get on here. I'm gonna talk in the helmet and we're gonna talk and hang out. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna have the electronic gear or the electric gear on. We're gonna have it cranked up and uh, I'm gonna take a little ride. Maybe you'll get to see my boy that I'm going to, uh, Mike from Ride Culture. Uh, why would I be taking him a scout? That's kind of weird. No, it isn't. Not when you're trying to make accessories for Indian motorcycles. So, all right, without without just wasting y'all's time, let's get on the road. Oh, here, and let's look at it. 2022 Indian Scout Road, boy. Oh shit, you just scared the crap out of me. How are you? Hey, Billy, it's the neighbor's boy. What's up, how are you? What is going on? Y'all see me got scared, huh? So that's the ro Rogue. Raven is uh, the name. We did put a Freedom exhaust on it. Sounds pretty good. I do have an issue with it. Um, if you guys look right here, let's see if we can get out the sun a little. I am dragging the she's out of it. So we put floorboards on it, so I'm not, I don't know, we gotta do some adjustments. What's up, what's up, how are you? So yeah, we gotta do some adjustments to it. Other than that, she's pretty much, um, well, she's not bone stock, but I, we did the adaptive light here, did the piggyback system there. So yeah, we're gonna do some stuff to it, or I'm gonna sell her. I don't know yet, actually. I'm kind of I'm kind of torn because I think I can make her a really fun bike that I I love every day. Um, she is not spicy candy. This is Raven, but uh, you know there's some things that would make Raven better. But anyway, yeah. Well, shit. Let's get on the road. Let's talk. I'm actually cold. <laughs> <laughs> so the faster I freaking plug in, the uh, the uh, happier I will feel. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, so check it out. I got like cords, cords. Um, just to tell you, just because people ask me often, um, I have heated pants, heated socks, heated jacket, liner, and then, um, or pant, heated pant liners, heated socks, heated jacket liner, and then I even have heated glove liner. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is like 38 degrees right now, which feels kind of cold, and it's gonna be cold on the scout. But odds are uh, the lining is so good, it creates that weather barrier that I'm probably gonna end up turning it off on the way home because I think it's gonna be like maybe 50 if I'm lucky, I don't know. Anyway, always people always ask me what I do with my hat because I don't have a backpack or nothing. What do I do with my hat when I'm on the scout? <laughs> Boy, look at that, shoot, I haven't had an issue yet. So, and I've even like taken like a couple of things and like stuffed it in the hat and then like stuffed it like that. And, so who needs bags? 
That's all I'm saying. And now I don't have my hat on, which is okay, because now you see my elf ears that are not tucked in. All right, let's, let's for sure ride down. <laughs> let's go. Recording. Wow, it uh, heats up so fast, like almost instantly. Uh, holy moly. Yeah, I'm definitely overdressed. I'm not sure why I went crazy today. I think just because I'm used to the uh, the pursuit, so I usually get the lowers. So, hey, eyes up here, baby. <sighs> but. Uh, so, I also. I'm gonna also do my best not to yell and scream at you guys. Truth be told, it's kind of hard on this bike because it's so loud that. Um, so loud that uh, I feel like I have to yell so you guys can hear me. And then in post, I'm trying to turn it down. I get over modulation and whatever. Anyway, you guys don't really care about the small shit. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get a horn real quick. You guys are probably wondering why am I going to horn? Well, the reason why is because I'm horny. No, I'm just kidding. It uh, gives me an audio spike. Talk about editing. More editing talk. <laughs> this is editing with fish. <laughs> um, but no, uh, it gives me an audio spike so I can match up the that video and this video. So that way it's exact. It's always kind of interesting. And um, okay, so here's the deal. My lower body and my upper body is not cold. But my face is really cold right now. <laughs> I uh, didn't get a, I didn't put any like a face shield or nothing on. I might regret that. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well, whatever. I'll be fine. It's all good in the hood. Hey, so Indian motorcycle dropped this video. Some say history repeats itself. To that we say Are you satisfied? well good hinting at a brand new Indian Scout so if you're watching this video you probably like Indian Scouts um, the last I bought this uh, will be I don't know two years in like Bart, uh, maybe like May or June or July or something, but um, my wife wanted it. She wanted to ride it. She decided that riding's not for her. Riding isn't for everybody. As much as I love it, I guess, I can't make everybody else love it too. So that's kind of a bummer, uh, but that's okay. You know, it is what it is. I'm trying to turn these on medium because I'm a little colder. <laughs> um, but yeah, which is fine, you know, she knows how to ride. She's rode in the past. Things are just different now. And she loves riding on the back. Like we've had like great times. She told me, you know, she, how does she say it? She says, I really enjoy getting on the back and just, and just being brainless, you know, and not thinking and um, just relaxing. She goes, but when she's on the bike and she's in control of the bike, she feels like she has a lot going on in her mind. And, and I, I get it. I understand it. So, all right. So here's the question. What do we want to see out of a brand new Indian Scout? Like, okay, well, let's be the first thing. We're looking right at it right here. They got to put in the new, the, the Chief has it, the FTR has it. The Scout has to have it, right? I mean. Come on, you gotta get navigation. Um, I guess ride modes would be pretty cool. I would I would assume that ride modes is a real thing and a real option. Uh, what else? What else do we want? I mean, listen, Harley Davidson came out with the the I don't want to say the Pan America, but they came out with the Pan America, the Rev Max motor. They put that Rev Max motor in Sportster S. They put that. Um, and wow, what is it? What do they call the night one? 
huh, what is it? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, it's a little babier version. You know, they say those, those are the bikes, right, that compete with the Scout for Harley Davidson. And the truth be told, like, that's for stress. I think it's 125 horsepower, like, at the crank where a full-size Indian Scout is like 100 horsepower or something at the crank. So does Indian go bigger? That'd be pretty freaking cool. I mean, they did just come out with the Sport Chief. So does that give us like a little bit of a hint maybe of what they could do with the Scout? Like a sporty, a little quote-unquote sportier version? I don't know. The Scout? The, the current Scout is pretty low seat height, so I mean you could probably like raise it up a couple of inches and and not really like hurt too much, right? As long as you keep it light, and then I mean some badass inverted front forks would be good. That's what they did on the Sport Chief. Um, yeah, I mean I don't know. You guys are gonna have to tell. You guys are gonna have to help me out with this, but I've often. Refu uh, referred to the the Harley Davidson Sportster S as like if the Scout and the FTR um, had a baby, it would make the the Sportster S. It's pretty rowdy. It's a fun bike. It, I can wheelie that bike. Shocked uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a big wheel. I mean, other people can wheelie it big. I can wheelie it a little. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty freaking pumped to, to finally have a new um, Scout, right? Of some kind. I like innovation, I think, is really what this comes out to. Out of all the Scouts, when the Rogue came out, that was the one that uh, kind of appealed to me. I liked the front wheel. Um, I wish that maybe it had a fatter rear tire. I know that there's people that that, that does that. Um, Conquest Customs makes fat tire kits for scouts. So it would be pretty cool if it came out kind of fat. I know that there's like actually engineering reasons why they don't do that and performance and stuff, but what are some of the things that you really hope are on the new Scout that that just like just calls to you? Is it the navigation? Is that something that get it? Do you want more power? You know, I mean, here's the thing: like this this motor is really no joke. But I wonder if they adopted a a new motor, maybe a bigger motor, a torquier motor, because um, this is. This is pretty powerful, but you gotta ring it out. Just a little, you gotta ring it out. You know what else I gotta do? I gotta turn this heated, I'm gonna turn these heated gloves on. Oh, you know what else? Cruise control. Ha! Yeah, okay, we need cruise control, definitely. I mean, people take scouts on, on long rides all the time. Um, I. <laughs> There's guys that road trip the shit out of scouts. Let's be, let, let's be completely honest here. I've put on, you know, three, 400 miles in a day on a scout. It's not the end of the world. That's about all I've done though, to be fair. <laughs> oh shoot, okay, so here's the deal. If I'm gonna keep this bike, what am I gonna do? I don't know. First of all, what I do know is my boys at TNA Customs They've been a big help with the channel. We go, we know spicy candy. If you don't know, my pursuit has a lot of custom uh, carbon fiber on it. Not custom; it's available to everybody. But I don't know. I think some some some, some uh, carbon fiber would look good on this on Raven. <laughs> um, hell, what else? I don't know. I mean, if they're gonna come out with a bigger motor, like. Do I just trade it in? I mean, I don't know what the scout's gonna look like. Assume I like it, but do do I do I just trade it in and get a, the new the newest baddest scout? I mean, with you got if you have cruise control, navigation, ride modes, a bigger motor, a torqueier motor. 
Yeah, I mean, shit, it'd be pretty tough to not do that, right? <laughs> um, that is for sure. You know, one thing about this motor that has been kind of cool, I've always talked about with the Indian Scout, and is that because it is a high horsepower motor and not like a really high torque motor, it makes for the perfect learner's bike. I mean, like for reals, uh, this bike, it's, it, you, you're not gonna loop it, right? You don't have to worry about, if you don't have to worry about the whiskey throttle, really, you know? I mean, once you get up in the higher RPMs, she's a real motorcycle. She's a real fast motorcycle. She don't mess around. So, you have to respect this bike. This bike is no freaking joke, by the way. It is so fucking loud right now that I don't know. I really hope it's coming through. This is why I don't vlog on this bike a lot. Because literally I feel like I can't hear myself talk. I don't know if that's one of the reasons why I don't 100% love this exhaust. Because um, it's loud. Um, I also don't like the fact that I'm grinding on it so much. But that's alright. Anyway. Uh, how about this? How about I let you guys go? We're going to check in in just a minute. I'm sure glad <laughs> I had heated gear. <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah, warming it up. All right. Anybody on meetings or anything? No, no, we're good. We got Jorge up in the up there, and we got Mike. I was just thinking, how do you pronounce your name? It's M Y K E. Just Mike. Obviously, that's Mike, right? <laughs> Mike and Jorge. <laughs> Dude, all right. Did you hear the news about the new the new uh, Scout? No. What the hell? This one hasn't. No. Nobody's heard the news about the new Scout. So in April second, they're dropping a new Scout. So I thought I'd come ask you what you wanted a new new Scout to be. And on the way here, I was like, holy shit, Mawike loved the, <laughs> <laughs> he loved the FTR so much. Yeah. How sick would it be if they put the FTR motor in it? That'd be sick. Or That'd the sick. fucking Power Plus, could you imagine? Yeah. That's good. Oh. <laughs> He's throwing, throwing shit, throwing shit. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna check out for a second, come back in. I gotta get comfortable. Dude, I'm glad I wore heated gear. I had it all on high. I even got the, the heated socks yeah. on. Yeah, I feel like a smart guy today. That's not too often. No, I'm good. I'm good for the heat of gear, thankfully. We just got done eating some pizza. All right, here we go. So now we've been talking. All right, Mike, here's your idea. Right, this yep. is what you think. For the new scout. For the new scout, what do you want them to do? Now you've you've seen the new Chiefs, mm -hmm. you've rode FTRs. Yep. Um, you come from like a road racing, high RPM, like that's like your love yep. of motorcycle riding. So being Mike, not engineer, uh, but if you had the opportunity, what would you hope is the new Scout? Let's remember, I think, what do we compete? What's the new Scout compete with? On um, the new Sportster, Sportster S. The Sportster S, Sportster okay. S. Yeah, and uh, 
actually a little bit of the spirit of the FTR, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So um, for me, for the new um, new Scout, I'd like to see a new head unit, um, more reminiscent of the new um, FTR with the ride command stuff on yeah. there, navigation, different uh, riding modes. The new Chief has it too. Yeah, the new one. Chief has it as well. Um, new suspension. Well, would be good. Like inverted front yep. forks, like that? Yep, okay, inverted okay. front forks. Um, also, maybe a little bit more torquey on the, on the lower end. Um, kind of like FTR. See, I know, I know you were talking about earlier that you like that high horsepower yeah. range, but then you rode that goddamn FTR and it changed yeah. your life. Yeah, it did. It changed my <laughs> life. It was, it was rowdy when I needed it to be rowdy. It was quick to get in and out of, to get quick to get in and out of places and traffic. You know, yeah. I didn't have to wind it up. It was... I didn't. I didn't think 25 to 45 could be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, mm, traffic ain't so bad right now. Oh. So, yeah, that would be cool. Because um, for me, like, I would, I would use the scout to tool around town, um, and you know, just get in and out of places real quick. And I think that a lot of lower end torque would be just so much more fun from light to light. I wonder maybe the FTR motor or like a challenge or the Challenger, the Power Plus motor could be fun. I do think they should keep it liquid cooled. They already have the air cooled. Mm -hmm. That's a torque monster, uh, the, the chief platform. Oh man, I don't know. I would love for them to do a slightly fatter rear tire. I guess you probably know a little bit better, but I know like engineering wise, there's a reason why they keep skinnier tires, right? Yeah, lean Fun. angles. Uh, lean angles are some of them. Um, also ergonomics for, for riding um, usually will, will take that into effect. Um, the Scout Bobber does have like a fatter front front tire, yeah. um, which also um, plays with a little bit of the lean angles and ergonomics of riding. But uh, a a fatter, taller rear tire would be kind of fun, so. Okay, so was like, uh, did you, when you were for Polaris, did you see the victories very much, or you were mostly off-road? Yeah, I was, uh, I was mostly slingshot. Slingshot, yeah, oh, not even off-road, that's on-road. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, a slingshot could go anywhere. <laughs> it could go anywhere, do anything. Yeah. Except you can't miss a pothole. Nope, <laughs> yeah, it hits potholes. <laughs> All right, um, so let's see. I see we said like da 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 da. It would be, I think it wouldn't be bad. It's such a low C, even if they raised it up a little bit, it wouldn't hurt. I don't think it would hurt anything. <sighs> um, yeah, okay, so that's what we want. We want a new motor. We, a torquier motor. I think we yep. could agree we want a little torquier. Yep. Probably displacement is the easiest way to do that, right. realistically. Um, so FTR really has it. So everybody forgets Indian motorcycle. They make, they make a fully liquid cooled two different scout motors and they make an FTR fully liquid cooled and then they make the fully liquid cooled power plus. So they have options. Do they need a whole new motor? I don't necessarily think that's mm -hmm. the case, but they definitely, it's time. It's time. They haven't updated the scout. It's time to update the scout ride modes. I has to be a must. Yeah, ride modes is a must. The ride command has came such a long way since they started that they have to bring it to probably what's their number one selling bike, the Scout platform. Right. It's a great bike. Um, I need to do something different to make this one a little bit more fun for me. Um, but that's just because when we bought it and set it up, we didn't set it up for me. We set it up not for me. Bye, Jorge. See you at Donnie Smith show. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so other than that, that's it. I don't know, shit, I like the front wheel of the Rogue. If it had a fatter tire, that'd be pretty freaking cool, but I don't know, I'm excited. So leave a comment below what you would like the Scout, new Scout to be. Uh, you can go into detail or not, whatever you want. By the way, I don't know, I'm gonna say this, so I vlogged on the way here. I told you that already. Two things, one is I'm super thankful I had my heated gear because it was all up 38 degrees. <laughs> and at first I was like, eh, it's not gonna be that cold. I can cold. Um, two is I cannot hear myself even think with this exhaust. So who knows how much audio I actually captured because I probably started yelling. I'm like, ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> so either way, might've cut some of that out. Um, yeah, that's it, that's all I got. Mike. Mike.
From Ride Culture, thanks for having me no, here. No problem. Uh, we love to bullshit and uh, talk about um, cool things, and a new scout is a pretty damn cool thing. Yep, plus Fish has got a key to our shop now, so, you know. <laughs> Wiggles are having parties! <laughs> <laughs> We were just talking about, he, they, they put a couch over there I could sleep on because I might be here so much I might have to sleep there. So anyway, yeah, we might have to start doing like a little uh, hangout right here, the Rye Culture uh, a compound. I think we should like call it like a compound. A compound, yeah. yeah. It's just a little shop, but yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I, the compound sounds really, really cool. It sounds aggressive. I like aggressive. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, till next time. Ride hard, ride fast. Out of somebody you don't know. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.